Today, I will be presenting a study titled Reenactment of Televised Content by Two-Year-Olds. Toddlers Use Language Learned from Television to Solve a Difficult Imitation Problem, written by Dr. Barr and Dr. Wiss. The question that this study aimed to answer was, how much information is being retained when infants watch television? The main phenomenon that was explored in this paper is the video deficit effect which is the idea that infants and toddlers learn less information from television than from live face-to-face -face interactions. Some factors that might buffer this effect include parental mediation or parental labeling, as well as voiceover labeling provided on television. Thus, the two questions that the researchers aimed to answer in the study were, one, does repetition buffer this video deficit effect? And two, is parental or voiceover mediation more effective for infants trying to solve a difficult imitation task presented on television? There were a total of 61 24-month-old toddlers and their caregivers who participated in this experiment. All of the participants were exposed to either a live or video demonstration. There were a total of five conditions. The first was a parent label condition where the participants were shown the actions three times with the parent providing the unique labels, a video condition where the toddlers were shown the action six times with parents providing the labels, a second video condition where the labels were provided by parents but referred to as something as opposed to the unique labels, a third video condition with the unique labels provided by a voiceover, and finally, a baseline control condition where the participants were not shown a demonstration and had to figure it out on their own. The experimenter demonstrated three target actions with two different stimuli, given the unique labels Niwa and Thornby, as mentioned earlier. After the toddlers were shown the target actions and provided the unique labels, 24 hours later, they were tested on these novel labels and their ability to imitate and generalize with new stimuli. Researchers and parents were asked to say phrases such as, look, he's going to make a thorn bee. What's he doing? He's making a thorn bee. Look, he's made a thorn bee. To demonstrate. Here are some images of the animal and rattle stimuli that were used in the experiment. The researchers found that both parent and voiceover labeling had positive effects on the imitation scores of the toddlers. As you can see on this graph, the toddlers in the live 3x parent condition had the highest scores, but the toddlers in all of the four conditions had higher scores than those in the baseline control group. Additionally, the researchers found that the repetition of the labels Niwa and Thornby had positive effects on their generalization. To summarize, the main takeaway of this study was that parental mediation, voiceover presentations, and repetition could all be beneficial for the ability of toddlers to learn and retain information, as well as their new, voc new vocabulary, which has important implications for toddlers today who are growing up in an increasingly media-rich environment. If you are interested in learning more about the impact of early media exposure on child development, please consider visiting our website to explore our CAFE study.